please welcome to the program Lane Factor. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Well, thank you for coming on, man. Uh, of, course, of course, last year, Reservoir De- uh, Reservation Dogs came out and people just loved it. People connected with it. People really enjoyed what it was all about. And they, a, lot, a lot of people enjoyed the authenticity of uh, reservation life shown there. And I got to say, Cheese is one of my favorite characters because he just seems to be, he's a guy who has, he shows the proper respect to the elders, but has the modern sensibilities and just seems to, you know, he seems to have a calm sensibility going through life. Mm -hmm. Now I heard that you're very, very much like your character. Yeah. um, Me and him are really similar, (laughs) you know, with kind of like our interests and I guess kind of we're both pretty awkward like in social socially <laughs> we're, we're we're very similar in many ways that's cool man now i know uh again in the uh the opening of season two uh cheese gets uh kind of enthralled by the director's cut of big trouble in little china are you yourself also a collector of the uh the rare versions of films I wouldn't say I'm like a collector of like rare versions of films, but like sometimes if I see like a kind of like a rare collection of like a movie series I like, you know, I'll, I'll buy that. Like, you know, if I see like Star Wars, like Steelbook or something, I'll, I'll definitely buy stuff like that. But I'm not like a kind of like every kind of film out there, you know. Yeah. I do love films though. Absolutely. Well, you gotta you gotta be a little you gotta be a little uh, uh, discerning in your in what you what you're gonna be purchasing, right? Like you can't just be buying everything. Mm-hmm. You know, that's uh, I, I appreciate that, but I also appreciate uh, what I see over your shoulder there. And uh, uh, given some co- uh, some Gojira love, I, I I I super super appreciate that about you. Yeah, yeah, I've I'm a super big Godzilla fan. You know, I'm a kind of have been like my, almost my whole life. So you know, I just uh, I just thought when I was getting set up, I was like, oh, I'll just put him right there. He's like one of my favorite ones in my collection. My little collection I have. Nice. Which which, uh, which Godzilla is that? This is the uh, the Godzilla from the 2002 movie uh, Godzilla against Mechagodzilla. Nice. And it's the SH Figure Arts version of them. Nice. So cool. Excellent. See, I I, I knew I was gonna like you because I like you on the show so much. But now that it, now that you I know that you love Godzilla, like you know we're tight now. This is good. This is good. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I heard you also. You recently binged Ultraman. Yeah, I you know they have the Netflix series. I yep. watched like both seasons of that like within a day, <laughs> and um, I'm also currently watching uh, like the original Ultraman. I found like a uh, a collector's edition of that. We were just talking about that. I found uh, like a collector's edition like the original Ultraman show. So I've just been watching through that right now, and uh, I also just picked up the original, uh, or not the original. I also just picked up the Heisei Gamera trilogy of movies. So I plan to watch that after. So nice. There you go. That's so you've good. kind of uh, fallen into a a, 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 a a Japanese vortex of uh, awesomeness. That's uh, once, once you go in, you can't get out. It's a it's a ride. It's a wild ride. <laughs> it's a wild ride, definitely. Oh my gosh! Now I I guess for you as well, this whole Reservation Dogs experience has been a wild ride for you as well. I know you guys yeah. recently got to do your first ever late night talk show. Got to be on mm-hmm. the Tonight Show. What was that experience like? Um. Oh man, where to start with that? It was, it was so cool. You know, he, um, Jimmy Fallon came up to us, um, before the show started and, uh, he just kind of talked to us, you know, made us make sure we were comfortable and he's a really nice guy. He's like super genuine. And, um, just the whole time it was like a blast. Cause you know, everyone was there just making sure everyone was as comfortable as possible. And you know, I got to talk to Chance the Rapper. That was really cool. <laughs> and also the, um, I don't know if you guys saw or not, but there was like those, they had like the cat that like tried to play guitar and uh, the pug that would cry and the dog that like knew food. They were so cute. They were so, so lovable. And I just loved, I just loved, you know, the whole, um, what's the word? The aura of the whole thing, you know, the whole energy. Every, it just seems like everyone has had to, having such a good time. It was very positive. That's yeah, it awesome. must be uh, like a, just a crazy like thought process to, to be thinking about 
like, you know, I'm sure a few years ago, you're just, you know, enjoying your life and then you, you get into acting, then you get on this show that kind of blows up and, you know, gets super popular. Now you're on the tonight show. Like this, this must be a bit of a wild ride for you to, when you're looking back on it. It, it really is, you know, um, you know, like I just started acting, uh, it was about, I think just about two years ago now. Um, and it's been an absolute wild ride, you know, it's been nonstop. And I never thought, you know, two and a half years ago, I would be where I am now. And I just wake up every day thankful for what I'm able to do and just the things I have done. Yeah, nice. totally. Now, of course, of the four main cast members, you're the youngest, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. So, and also uh, the other, the other three actors have had, you know, they've been in it for a good number of years. So are you like, have they kind of like taken you under their wing? Have you learned a lot of stuff from them? Definitely. They've, they've all been really helpful. I mean, I'm, I'm real. I've been really uh, able to talk to them about really anything, you know, any questions I have, you know, uh, like devry has been a really big help. Uh, you know, if, for anyone who, anyone who doesn't know, she plays a lore on the show, but she's been doing this the longest out of anyone. So she's been uh really big help when it comes to like stuff like press or like just simple, like acting methods, getting character and same with the and Paulina, you know, we can just kind of talk to each other, bounce off anything, you know, we'll come up with jokes and we'll have ideas for things. And we're able to just kind of learn from each other. And it, everyone's just been so helpful and, you know, so willing to like walk me through these things and our understanding of like, when I don't understand something, they've just all been so helpful. I love them all. And do you like give back in the sense that you're the local and they're all from up north like us here? Uh, so <laughs> is there a trade off that it's like you explain American things to them? Yeah. Um, I think just before the show started, uh, they all had to go through like a southern accent class to like trying to like get rid of like their uh, Canadian accents. Yeah. And um, so I think it was Devery who asked me, uh, how do I like do a Southern accent? I was like, I don't know. It's kind of like a natural thing. And I wouldn't see, even say I even have one that's like heavy, but, um, but also like when they were here, you know, I was just showing them places that are, you know, place to eat around some things around Oklahoma, some things you can do in Oklahoma. And um, yeah, I guess it was a little bit of a trade-off. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Oh, weird. Yeah, so I, I noticed also that uh, you're you, you're uh, a bit of a dog lover. You've uh, uh, you got Anakin showing up uh, on on your Instagram quite a bit there, and uh, uh, like, was it always like having a, a you know a, such a cute dog? You know, like I just see the 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 love on your face with the, with with uh, with the dog with Anakin. So like, mm -hmm. was it was it uh, is it just that this was the breed that you wanted to get? Like this is this dog, or was it like just you just walked in and it was like ah this one works for me? Yeah, um, that was actually Anakin is um, so of course she's a Shiba Inu, and I've always like loved those kind of dogs. I didn't even know they were from Japan. You know, uh, <laughs> it was just kind of a thing. It's like oh my god, that's such a cute dog. It looks like a fox. A right. fox dog wolf thing. And I love I love them. And um, but she's actually not like my only animal I have. You know, I'm kind of wanting to uh make a post about my other animals that I have, but I just I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's but, okay. You got plenty of time to make as many posts as you want. Take your time, find the right moment for all your animals because you know you you're gonna debut the animal, you want it to be the right debut. Totally. I get it. Oh man. yeah, oh yeah. In no. fact, uh I have one of them who's just who's just chilling and you know I can see them there's chilling staring at me it's like it's our older sh uh shih tzu uh zoe <laughs> nice. she's she's pretty old that's awesome that's awesome now um when I look back to the first season of reservation dogs one of mm -hmm. my favorite episodes is the uh uh, episode five come and get your love where cheese goes on a ride along with big <laughs> and uh that episode that episode was like i think that was the introduction to the fact that the show does a lot of single character episodes where it's like mm -hmm. you know you get your own arcs and stuff like that so what was it like uh shooting that particular episode with uh was on mclamon that episode it was it was so fun it was really hot that week so i remember we were 
all like constantly sweating hard, but, you know, working with him, you know, he's been in the industry for a long time and he, you know, he's really professional at these things. So just learning from him, me and him going back and forth, he's really, uh, he really gets into like characters and all that stuff, but he's always, uh, playful. He always, he kind of seems like he's a really serious guy and like, he has kind of like an intense energy about him, but he's so like down to earth and laid back and he's just such a, like a chill dude, but you know, that just doing that episode, you know, with him is, it was really nice. It was a really nice episode. It was probably like my favorite episode of the first season. And, you know, um, just getting to talk to everyone about the episode, like Sterling and stuff and like certain things they did. And it was just, uh, man, I, it's just something I can't put into words, you know? Yeah, no, it's, it's fair. It's, you know, like there's like, we've said, like you've, uh, you're going through a lot as you're, you know, getting exposed to the world as mm -hmm. it were, you know, people coming out and checking you out. What, uh, have you had a lot of interactions with, uh, with fans that uh, have had a chance to let you know how they feel about the show and, 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 you know, and what, you know, your character cheese and some of the others, uh, you know, mean to them. Yeah. You know, it's, um, yeah, I have. It's been, it's been really nice. You know, I've just been, oh, sorry, fumbled up my words. It's, um, it was, it's been really nice. Cause you know, I've just been seeing people who have uh, been saying, you know, they can relate to the characters. They can see themselves as characters and like, they know a person who's like cheese or like bear or, you know, it helps them get through something. It's just been, you know, it just seems like everyone's been like, can see something in the show or and relate to something in the show. And it's been absolutely amazing to see the positive feedback of it. And of course, you know, I've been having fan interaction. People have been asking me to like take pictures and um, sometimes I get recognized at random places and it's always so nice, you know, just to know that I put a smile on someone's face and, you know, they, they like the way I did, I like portrayed the character. It's been amazing, you know. Now has the cast, you know, cause again, you know, like now that everything's kind of open back up again, a lot of the mm -hmm. uh, regular uh, promotional tropes are back out there. So has the cast gotten to go to any conventions as of yet? Not yet. Not, not yet, really. Um, you know, I was kind of wanting to go to Comic-Con, but... Yeah, because I, I thought that was crazy that they didn't bring you guys to Comic-Con because they actually had, like, big... Like, I saw ads and everything. They were doing a lot of, like... FX and Reservation Reservation Dogs present this mm -hmm. thing here and that in promotion of your guys' show. You think they would have brought you guys out for it? I don't know. Maybe maybe if they do a season three, maybe next year. You know, who knows? Uh, but no, we haven't gone to any any like conventions or anything. But uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe soon or something. Like I don't I don't really know anything. So yeah, yeah, no, totally. You they know, just kind of tell me like a week beforehand, like, hey, this is <laughs> this is doing something. <laughs> I, I think uh, I think Lane, what you do is when you go back, is you uh, you you just tell them that you want this in your contract. You we're going to go to Comic Con next year. We're going yeah. we're going to do a season three. We're going to Comic Con. Comic Con, gotta... yeah, yeah. Give me a give me a couple hours to go to the uh, item to the vendors. You know, yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> Get out to your collection. Rounds. Yeah, that's the best part of it. Make sure you bring two empty suitcases with you, and you'll be fine. Yeah, there you yeah, go. for real. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Now, of course, aside from Reservation Dogs, uh, you got to uh, uh, be in an upcoming film that's coming out, directed by Steven Spielberg, *The Fablemans*, which mm -hmm. uh, is semi-autobiographical, based on Spielberg's own childhood growing up in Arizona. So, what was it like to work with Spielberg? It was such a cool experience. Uh, he's he's a he's such like down to earth person, and uh, it's. It was such a huge honor. I mean, how can you even like, you know, it's so weird to think back on. It's like, wow, you got to work with Steven Spielberg, but he's he's such a great director. You know, he really knows what he wants to do. And the story was great. You know, I got to meet a lot of really nice people out there. And it took me every fiber of my being not to like, you know, throw a whole bunch of like Jurassic Park or Jaws questions at him or E.T. But, <laughs> but you know, I just you know, watching how he does things, it's, it was, he's an absolutely incredible director and I can't wait for the movie to come out. And, uh, I'm just really looking forward to it. Cause I don't even, I haven't even like 
know much about it um, outside like the general premise and like the right. stuff I filmed and think that was part of. So I'm, I'm really excited for it. Yeah, that's the thing I notice these days with actors is that uh, because of all the, the the amount of stuff that gets leaked and things like that, that actors these days only get to see the stuff they're involved in and they don't get to see the full picture of films and stuff. So it must be like a treat to see, you know, finished products and see how things come together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it is. Because like, <laughs> um, especially with like things like Reservation Dogs, you know, I had no clue what like the third episode was about or um just like stuff i'm not a part of you know i gotta ask like afterhand it's like so what was that about <laughs> but you know like watching this episode you now i've just been like keeping in contact with some of the people on, on this on the on the movie and uh just asking them like you know how's it been you know what's uh what are you guys up to and they're like oh yeah seth rogan's here and i'm <laughs> it's been crazy oh man that is crazy that's crazy man now speaking of crazy I know that the season has just started, but uh, it appears that Cheese has another big episode, like episode seven of this year, called Stay Gold Cheesy Boy, where it says that Cheese does time. I know you can't explain everything that happens in that episode, but is there any like tease or anything that you can give or maybe mention how, like, what it felt like to shoot that episode? I mean, I don't think I can give like plot details, but no. like to shoot the episode, it was, um, I was definitely nervous the whole time because I wasn't sure if I could, you know, do a whole episode without like the rest of the gang there, like, or for like a good part of the episode. So I was really like kind of worried. I was like, can I like carry something by myself? But, you know, I had, you know, you see other people in the episode and they, they're all amazing. They've been, you know, I can't stop saying amazing because everything is amazing, but it's, um, they've all been helpful and amazing to work with my favorite word. <laughs> it's just, I'm trying so hard to think what I can say without like giving anything away. Right. Right. No, no it's a tough one. It's a tough we, one. We, I'm we, looking we, forward we to it though. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the episode. All I had to see was cheese does time. And I'm like, and then of course the, the title of the episode giving like an outsider's reference. I was like, mm -hmm. Okay, looking forward to this one. That seems exciting. Uh, when you get the scripts for these things, like how excited, like are you always shocked about where the characters go next? Or is there a lot of times you're like, yeah, no, this is where I see it going. So here's the thing. For a while, um, I actually wasn't getting the scripts. I was getting uh, them the morning of filming, oh, and, like man. the portion of what we would be doing that morning oh. for – I think most of season one and most of season two. <laughs> oh, and it wasn't until someone was like, man, uh, Lane, you did like good on that one part. You know, how long did it take you to read that? And I was just like, it took me, you know, took me this long. And it turns out, you know, they, they weren't like sending me the updated scripts. But so for you know, good, good portion of season two, I was just getting them the morning of. Oh my God. So they didn't update their email list. Jeez. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> Which kind of stemmed from like I think uh, in season one I was getting some updates, but like my guardian wasn't. My mom, she was with me a lot of the time. She wasn't, so I asked them to like update, put her on the list, and then they took my name off. <laughs> so it wasn't until season about well, I think yeah about halfway through season two, you know, I started getting those updated scripts, but you know, I had, so I had to learn stuff fast. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say so. My wow. God, so that's uh, that's, a, that's so a whole extra layer. So when we're layer. watching, when we're watching, if it seems like cheese, seems like he doesn't know what's going on, that's you not knowing what's going on. <laughs> but it's very in character of cheese, yeah, though. Very in character, very definitely. Very oh my character. God! So maybe it was all just a clever plan by the show. Maybe it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, well. Uh, Lane, I gotta, I gotta say, it's been a delight talking with you, man. It's, yeah, you seem it's been... like such a great down to earth kid. I look forward to seeing more of this season, and you know, I really hope it gets picked up for another season after this because it is one of the best television series I've seen in the past five thank years. Thank you so much. It's been yeah, it's an awesome. absolute delight. Oh well, thank you, Lane. Appreciate it, and and keep up the great work, man. Because it's uh, it, like like Andrew said, it's it's a fantastic show, and and you and the whole cast are doing amazing things. And you've used a word tonight that I think sums up what we think of your performance. We think it's amazing. <laughs> thank you so much guys <laughs> all right have all yourself right. a great night thank you you too